welcome back, Toku fans. And I've got a special surprise for you, as you might see on the camera, and you might notice from the quality of the camera. I have switched over to pre-recording the raw reviews, and I'm using my HD cam. So this is sort of a taste of what you'll see when the full series comes out, in terms of quality. And as you can see, today we actually have the first of our true comparisons for the series. We have got the Deluxe. Gal Lion versus the Super Mega Force Red Lion. These, of course, both alt into the Samurai alternate mode. I do have the Samurai Mega. I do have the Legendary Megazord. But I do not have Gokaio yet. So, as I have been doing, this is a strict, strict review of the actual product itself, not its interactivity with other things. Just like when I was reviewing the keys, I didn't have the Legendary Morpher to compare it with. I do have it now. And I'll do a full review of all keys in the Morpher at some point later when I have the Mobirates. But right now we're just going to focus on the Red Lion and its alternate mode. And the Red Lion as just the Red Lion itself instead of as an accessory to this guy. what else will be in the coming weeks. Which is pretty much the entire Super Mega Force line. curious about the full series, the 15-page dissertation that served as the springboard for this. You'll have, probably have to wait till around June-ish, because I still have to write it and create it and edit it and turn it into my paper and submit it to my college class and all that fun stuff. And once it's edited and all that fun stuff, then I will be posting it online. Let's open the boxes first. Oh, I see how this is done, I think. Now, it is teal steel masking tape, but it's pretty well done. It's a pretty well-shaped box. So it's pretty sturdy. Unlike the rather... Unlike the comments I've made before on the keys, where I found the packaging a bit lackluster with how they secured it. as well. So like this thing will, looks like this thing will fold open. Yes. Try to peel this tape off of here, open off to the side. Back in the box and they're done. 
Okay, inside of our container, let's cover everything in detail. We have a little segment here which has the instructions, which no one ever reads, of course. Because it's, it's a toy designed for a four year old. If someone my age you can't figure out how to put everything together, it's a problem. Watch me do that exactly in a second. This has all the accessories. Here comes with a wild force key. And there is actually a key port on this. Again, this is something I love like Super Mega Force line, is that they know that they're going to have a key to inspire it with the rest of the line. And yet, unlike the Gokai series, the key actually can be used directly with the toy. So if you just bought this, you'd have a use for it right out of the box. Now where is my clippers? I'm clearly going to have to take off some gal lion out of the way. Take off some security clips. Some packing clips. That's one down. So where are the other clips? There's one here in the corner. shell here over the feet. Proving quite difficult to take apart. And there the legs just came off, which is fine. Four disassembled lions. Obviously this is nowhere near show accurate, not in the slightest. But uh, I don't uh, necessarily will dock them for that. It all depends on whether it accomplishes its goals. Good grief, is this thing difficult to get to peg back into its proper place? And if I was a four-year-old, that probably would not be a good thing. Let's see here. There it is. Got to line it up just right. And let's see here. Got our wild force key. Which does, near as I can tell, nothing. Probably fires the uh, little missiles that I am not going to deal with. Mouth is molded on. You cannot open and close it in any way, shape, or form. Head has no articulation. Arms, legs, have, head has no articulation. Legs have no articulation. Back legs do have some articulation. Um, caster wheel, so it can roll. Um, if I am trying to be a completionist, so to speak. Let me open up the accessory pack. Got our Red Lion Missile. Mule chug into his mouth. 
And good thing I've got a clear path, because I probably will, I wouldn't be able to find this otherwise. Flies a pretty good distance. Fun fact, for those of you who know about the Japanese toy line, they had versions of, they had toys where you could put the key in to something like this, like with Gokai Silver, and they could sit down. Obviously these can't do it because they're spring-loaded. That's kind of neat. You'd have the Red Ranger sitting on top of the Red Lion. So that's a plus. It's actually a neat little gimmick that may or may not have been intentional, but certainly, certainly kind of a fun little addition for the kiddies. All right, so let's disassemble this thing, because obviously we won't be doing the actual... Well, let's look around here a bit more. As you can see here, there's the red lion symbol, pink, yellow. I don't see green and blue on here, but they're probably just hidden away. So let's take him apart. Which should be relatively easy. Sword builder ports for the legs. The peg into the helmet. The helmet's back here is the rump, I guess. We've got a clear samurai sword for the body. Let's see. There is, I think this is Ord Builder for at the top, but I'm not very versed in Sword Builder. And there's clearly one here. The other leg. So here's the first leg. Here's the head piece. Now this is kind of neat because where the head was pegged on becomes a handle and it looks like a good handle. Uh, apparently snap that in half. Nice, decent sized sword. I will not attach it to our Samur our Megazord. Josh, actually, we're just reviewing just this. But here he is in all of his parts and glory. Um, again, I mean, just on its own, it's not that bad, especially considering that the Ranger key can actually do does give, give it some additional functionality. You'll get a Ranger key, so I encourage you to buy the Legendary Morpher. Altogether, decent for what it is. I think it's retail. I actually don't know its retail price, but I'm guessing it's somewhere around the range of twenty dollars. Pieces help hold in pretty well. I think it, that might be one thing. Here's the part where it actually fires off. So if you just want to fire the missile off yourself. Reassemble him. I mean, I don't know how well these Zord Builder parts ports work very well for a kid in the intended age range. But they hold on pretty firmly. Try attaching this without attaching the limbs and just doing it this way. Let's see if that might make it a bit easier to click in. Yes, it does. It makes it quite a bit easier without the legs getting in your way. Tilt my camera up a bit more. Could put the legs in either way, but that would make them kind of face the other way, so there's no point there. back in his display. That's just the way I roll during these reviews. After I take them out of their box, I put them back in their box. Which, given the way that this thing is 
works, I probably won't be able to do. Yeah. Without taking the, lit, the feet off. too bad. I can store the feet in here on the accessories and the instructions so I don't have to pull it back up. It's just all in one little place. Probably put the ranger key back in here, but I'm just going to stick it in here with the rest of the small parts. Again, my same concern is from before. If it is targeted at four-year-olds, the size of the ranger key might be an issue. It does seem like it would be small enough for them to swallow. And my roommate tends to agree. So, legendary. Well, let's keep it now. Because we might want to do a size comparison. Let's see, toss out some junk. And now we're on to our imported product. The original that was released in 2011 versus the 2014 toy line. This is Gokai Machine number three. This is, of course, the DX line. Now, let's see. Where would be the best place to open this? Try the back there and see if we can just open up one side. Yes, we can. Packaging is quite a bit different. The big giant cardboard box. Scan the instructions, which no one ever reads, even if they're in their native language. So I could probably partially read this if I gave it a moment. I am studying Japanese. This is another good reason why I pick these things up, because it gives me an actual physical Japanese thing to study. Alright, so, open our first bag. This shows how everything goes together. This. Well, this as well. The Rekka Dai Santo. Which I think forms the body. But we'll see once we take the entire thing out of this box. It actually comes disassembled, which is kind of interesting, as opposed to assembled, so when the kitties take it out, it's actually in uh, its assembled formation. The target age range of this is... I'm actually not sure, I can't see something. It does require some batteries, but actually I'm not sure if they're included or not. Looks like it comes with lights and sounds. But we'll get into all that once we have everything opened. We've got uh, the samurai weapon holster there. So I'll set that over there. Helmet. my tripod a bit closer. Which is falling apart. Alright, so we have this, which is one of the front legs. And as you see, if you fold it open, you see the hidden samurai symbol for samurai mode. It has fold-out caster wheels. Let's see what the leg base does. It actually has fold-out caster wheels as well. Roll 
going pretty well. These are clearly the hindquarters of our lion. Clearly these will fold down. There's a little clear tab at the top that I'm having trouble flicking. But I think they flip out once you stick uh, the Samurai Zord, the Gokai O into it. All right, so let us see. We need the body. Pretty simple. there. And pull the battery tab out. On off switch. Oh, there it is. Batteries could be dead. That's always a possibility. Kind of a bummer, but what can you do? I do have some batteries coming in for something else, so I just have to stick them in here as well. You can see in the mouth, the samurai symbol is kind of hidden pretty well. Tapping the button flicks the these things out. The gills, the frills, whatever you want to call it. There is some mouth articulation. have to turn to the instructions to figure out the proper formation to get this into lion mode. Let's show how the parts go into Gokaio. All the components seem to be here. Good. I'm just not sure how to get the body working. That's my main condition here. alternate formation I am not aware of. I don't think so. Yes, epic fail. I've never used, I've never worked with import toys, so I'm not quite sure of the formation of these things. Oh well, let me take a look at the instructions to see how we get the body. Everything else is relatively simple. It's just a matter of how we get the body connecting to the main support strut. Ah, so I actually do need the helmet. It's part of the tail functioning functionality. Oh, that's what I'm being completely obtuse about. These are the front legs, not the back legs. That's why everything was proving so difficult for me. I was trying to assemble it in reverse. Now it should be easy. Now, again, it's just a matter of lining it up. There we go. Half a lion. still need to be here. Stop flailing your frills all over the world, world wild lion. One leg. Two legs.
there we go. Tail is kind of underwhelming, but I guess it works. Okay, so we got the two. Well, clearly, well, it's a little bit bigger, but not that much, actually. Honestly, the size difference isn't all that much. If you take a look, maybe about 10, 20% larger. Obviously, it's a completely different mold for the, the Super Mega Force line. But of course, it actually has lights and sound functionality, which I just have to replace the batteries for. Hopefully, we'll have that done by the time we do the full review of all the Gokai series and their Gokai Gatai. Now, I could have sworn this was supposed to come with a key, but, I mean, this is new in box, so, I guess not. I guess they didn't come with a key for this one. There's no mention whatsoever anywhere on the box that it comes with a key. So, something to keep in mind. Gal Lion does not come with a key in any way, shape, or form. Something to keep in mind. So, in, honestly, I would say in terms of playability of just the lions themselves, they're about equal. I'd say, one thing I'm going to have to get the point to the Super Mega Force line. Now look at that, there's toe articulation here. Not over, it's up here. There's a little bit more articulation on Gal Lion here. But they can both roll. They can both be disassembled, disassembled to be turned into sam the samurai configuration. A little bit larger. It does have lights and sounds. Though, like I said, I think the battery is dead. I mean, this is a four-year-old toy line, or three-year-old to toy line, so if it's still got the original batteries that was in there when it was first put on the shelf, obviously it's going to be dead after sitting on the shelf, even with a battery su suppressing chip in there. I said about the, as far as I understand it, the actual light function, the only function it really does is I think it roars. So it's got a speaker port here. And the eyes light up. That's about it. There's some nice detailing on it. So there's that little functionality. Or if you tap the button, which I think also makes it roar, the frills will come out. Which the other one does not have. All told, though, I think they're about equal. This one does have some additional functionality. It loses the, the lights and sound functionality, but it adds the key functionality, which means you can actually have, you know, I mean, you have to do something about the spring that makes it automatically flip, but you could have the any ranger actually sitting on top of it, which is kind of cool. It does fire a missile from its mouth, which is a neat little bonus. Body-wise, I'd actually say... They're about equal. I mean, obviously there's some gimmicky stuff done on this, but I would say in terms of actual what I find impressive, I think I think for the most part their bodies are about equal in term in my mind. But I'd say I'd have to give a extra point to the original to the Super Mega Force one here because the while the, the tail is obviously the samurai sword, it does give the tail more of a profile, and as opposed to this, to as opposed to the stinky little one here. It makes the tail feel more significant as opposed to just literally something tossed on in the last second just to complete the body. Because, I mean, look at it. I take it off, put it back on. You really don't get a sense that, it's, that this is the lion's tail. Other than that, it's um, not a bad toy. I'd say that um, they're about equal. And since you can get this one domestically, I would say go ahead with it. On its own, just for its own merits and its own flaws, this is a perfectly good toy. Um, again, my only concern is with the, the smaller parts and your young children. If it was targeted towards 8-year-olds, I'd feel a bit more comfortable. But the smaller sizes of the items does make me a bit uneasy. And, um, there you go. Lion versus Lion.